Maharishika. Namaskar, Sharon. How are you? Uh, well, actually, I'm getting over COVID. But, oh. Um, but I'm 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 fine. I I had one very bad day, but um, anyway, I was annoyed though because I'd quarantined for two years and then <laughs> now I'm back into quarantine again. But um. I, I really appreciated the answer that you gave to Karen, and I wondered, sort of like maybe training wheels for learning the distinction between the truth and the ego. What I'm understanding is even if I think I know what to do, that I need to stop and ask in every moment, is that a good guideline? Yes, I would say so, Sharon. It's the best thing is to just dump the training wheels. Oh. <laughs> you know? And just okay. cycle very fast. So you get the balance anyway. What I mean by that is that if there is that deep inner yearning, and I think it's there with you, I see that you know you're a serious seeker and also finder, actually. All that is required is to be able to discern between that loud and demanding and insisting voice of the ego lie and the quiet, almost imperceptible impulse from within. It's not even something which takes a day to learn. You don't have to learn it, it's already intrinsic. The training is happening when you come into this moment, bring yourself to this moment, now, 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 here, here, now, here, now. And in this moment, you can't hear the ego lie, you can only hear the truth. You see what I mean? That's the fast track. You, it's very difficult to do that. And to train yourself to do it ten times in a day, or a hundred times in a day, to start with. You bring yourself to this moment, you're centered, because in this moment, only the Truth will work, only the Truth will win, only the Truth will be. So, we can take a very practical example of that, where you... Let's say you want to go for a movie. You don't know if you should or not, but you want to, and you're not sure, is that a desire? Is that the ego? Is it the Truth? Am I supposed to see that film, or is it just my ego sort of trying to, you know, convince me to do something like that? All you need to do to know whether it's like that or not is to come to this moment. In this moment, the impulse of the Truth reigns. So you bring yourself to this moment, you're here and now, you're quiet and centered, and the answer will come. It only comes as a binary answer, a yes and a no. And of course, you, you practice the Golden Kriya, and you practice those Kriyas, which you've practiced when you were in Tiru, Vanamalaya, you can practice that, absolutely. But that first step is this one. You cannot get the Truth if you're not in this moment. You have to bring yourself to this moment. And all the notes you make are not going to help you. Which I've told you already many times. It's only being in this moment, tuning into the Truth, and then you don't have to make notes, you can watch the videos. They will always bring you back to what all you've heard from me before. That saves you having to make notes. That will save paper. <laughs> it will also save you, because when you make notes, then the paper becomes very smart, but not you. It's better to save you than to save anything else. And the way you do that is not to bother to write anything. You're a student, you're there, you're listening, you don't have to hold on to anything, only to this moment. Really, I mean it. It's really true, you just have to be here and now, and the Truth will reign, it always does, in this moment. And then from there on, you take the actions needed. After mm -hmm. a while, it becomes second nature. That mm -hmm. is this process, that is mm -hmm. this sadhana. Sadhana mm -hmm. meaning 
this particular practice. It's to be in this present moment and to mm -hmm. just listen to the truth impulse. So that discerning between the ego lie and the truth impulse happens in this moment. Being in this moment is the action of discerning. Which is why you don't need the training wheels, because the training wheels come way before. You are already past that stage of training wheels. You're, you're just sort of falling off once in a while off your bike, but if you really hit on that pedal really hard and take off, then you'll balance out. And that means you'll be able to feel that impulse. Because you're here and now. It's a very interesting thing for a spiritual seeker, because you're not looking for enlightenment, you're not looking for visions, you're not looking for lights and sounds, you're just looking for something which is within you. And you're finding it, and you're acting on it. And then you're observing what happens. And then again you're acting on it, and then you're observing what happens. And what actually happens is that very gradually, step by step by step, life just becomes more joyous. It's just joyous, you know. Even if there's pain and suffering, it simply isn't experienced like that anymore. So, yeah, certainly you have to practice it. Do the pendulum kriya, move from left to right till you center yourself. Bring yourself to this moment, and in this moment, the Truth will reign. It's your experience. I'm only telling you what you already know, what you already experience, actually.